Hello my friends and welcome back to the ever awesome Distant Worlds. We are playing the Bacon Mod, the Extended Bacon Mod, because we're using Harry 78's Extended Mod as well. Anyway, so let's keep going. I decided to record one more today, so there's going to be like, I think, four episodes going at once here. Uh, I'm just going to record or publish one a day. I kind of, I'm kind of liking this pace. And under attack. Ooh, a few pirates in here now. Man, why aren't you guys doing anything? Uh, hmm, that's an issue. Yeah, you're just letting this happen. Guys. I guess I needed to automate them, maybe. Which I didn't do. There we go. Now you're on it. My fault. Oh, looks like we're going to capture one anyway. Yep. And they ended up raiding it. Oh. They took information on proximity scan sensors. All your ships belong to us. Okay, that cruiser is now repaired. The warship 86. And we have captured Curse of Yabler. And you are in Allegiance is your design name. Concussion missiles, a tractor beam, 36, 200. Okay, well, you can just join this fleet. And you're already in that fleet. And the other ones are still being captured. Uh, 430, that one's going to happen. 422, yeah, capturing ships is much easier with this uh, gravity well stuff. You're uh, pretty heavily damaged. Lactic news, Great Cadian Endorment, Silver Mist. Oh, you idiots. Uh, in the sector G5. Ah, I wonder if that's where that beacon was going off. Uh, up here. No, that's a debris field. G5. Up here. We have Silver Mist in the game, and they are active in this area. Okay, well, that's a game changer. They're nasty. Uh, the best way to deal with them is actually to... Uh... I'm trying to escape is actually to use a massive amount of fighters against them. Um, that and ion weapons work well against them, but I find fighters are more effective. And you're going to end up dying, I think. Okay, there's another ship. And I think that's kind of the same thing. Nope, Max's blasters and concussions. Okay, I'm using them just because I don't really have a huge amount of cash to build my own ships. We could use, we could disassemble them for science, but I think we'll just keep adding them to this fleet. And there's another one. Wow, this is uh, actually pretty easy to do. I wonder if this needs a buff. Um, yeah, I wonder if it needs a bit of a buff to slow that down. I don't know. Maybe. Okay, so you guys should be going for repair, I would think. Yep. All right. A destroyer Potato McWhiskey is under attack. Oh, got, it actually got repaired. There's a construction ship that was doing that. So let's get that construction ship over to repair that. Okay. And I think you might be okay to get that done, although you did fail the last time. What do you have on you? Phaser lances and Terminator autocannons. Uh, next to no armor. No wonder you got so much uh, damage. Okay. So let's see how Potato McWhiskey does with this particular creature. 100%, 97, 91. And we now have Enhanced Commerce. Excellent. Not going to help us right away, but the next level of tech on that is the one I'm shooting for. The wonders, uh, the Trader's Bazaar. And I'm going to have to somehow save 50,000 credits to build that. Got it. Excellent. 
All right. Um, 116. I don't really want you in my first uh, assault fleet or not. I guess we'll put them back in there. I think that's where I had them before, so. Not the greatest ship. We might re re uh, retrofit that to something better once we uh, get them going. So we're going to put you in the assault fleet. You can just go do what you do. Oh, there's another Kelter in here. Okay, well, try it. If you get much damage, we got a construction ship right nearby. And how we doing in here? We just finished cleaning this area out for Kelters. Uh, they're heading out to the edge of the gravity well to come and kill the last one. And there should be a construction ship on its way. That might be the line there for it. Yep, yeah, here it comes now. So I think I'll just uh, interrupt him. Because I just had him coming close by because all the Kelters were in here. But I think we're just going to pick a nice big capital ship or battleship, I guess. Find one that's uh, somewhat... Let's see which one's the least damaged here. I think this one looks like about the least damaged. Okay, so repair battleship. There we go. Get that going. Now clean that last Kelter out to make sure there's no issues with that. I might have to put a small defense fleet in here just to protect the, uh, the construction. All right, let's see how we're doing here. And let's, uh, still 1%. Uh, wish that would go a bit quicker. Ooh, 6%, nice. And let's actually stop and have a look at 91 million plus 2%. And what was that uh, passenger ship called again? <laughs> Forget now already, something of Zuma. Probably at the bottom here. Is it Rim Runner of Zuma? That doesn't sound like it was right. Shroud of Zuma, I think that's it. And it is a private. Retrofit. Retrofit? That can't be it. No, it, uh, it's a luxury liner. And you're transporting migrants. Let's select and go to. Up there. Hmm. Not getting much. Uh, Chance to show off that uh, feature of the bacon mod. Uh, the private sector is kind of doing everything I want it to do anyway, so I guess we'll just uh, forget about it. We'll just let it happen, but you do have the option anyways. Uh, yeah, it is built, so I think that was a ship. Fortunately, it's falling into. Yeah. I don't really own that, I don't think. Just... Uh, Grab that select. Yeah, I have no action buttons or anything, so. Uh, I could set up the mission manually, but I don't think we're going to bother. And, of course, I forgot to start my stopwatch again. So, enjoy another 40-minute episode. <laughs> the half-hour thing just doesn't work with me. I don't know. And are you guys finished refueling yet? You need to get back up there. Got a bit of damage too. Uh oh. Where are you? Oh, you're actually here. Okay, well, you're refueling, so I guess we'll just let you go. You are automated, so you should go back there once you're finished. And we're going to get some fuel in there right shortly, anyways. So hopefully they won't run away every time they need fuel anymore. Okay, what are you guys doing? You're still trying to attack that giant kelter. Oh, you got a ways to go yet. I thought you were almost there. Okay, well, I'll just let that happen, I guess. It's definitely a slower game. I'll give it that. Which I don't mind. I'm uh, kind of patient when I'm running this game anyways. Man, how are you doing? You're just constantly under attack here. Good thing you got lots of ground troops. And the Dayuk Confederation has a base here as well. 
We should have maybe a quick look at the pirates. It's these guys. They only have two ships left. I think we've been destroying them and capturing them, so... Uh, sucks to be them, I guess. Got nine ships. Dredge shipping has ten. These guys have nine, so they're not overly powerful. I was kind of intending that for this game anyways. Just a bit of a nuisance at the beginning is all I was looking for. Oh, oh, oh. I think I see another abandoned station here. I do. Uh, we got a explore right here. Is that ours? Yes. Okay, you come over and check on this. Uh, what kind of cloud is that? Hydrogen again. All right, you come over and see. Ooh, it's damaged too. Okay, well, move to it. Oh, if it's damaged, that's why it didn't get claimed because it's damaged. Uh, okay, well, I guess we won't come back to it. If it's damaged, it's just seen as space junk. It's not something we can claim. So I'll put you back on uh, automation. Instructions are all still busy. And what is that going on? Roger Bacon has increased population skill level. Excellent. Way to go, Roger. Exactly why I like rail guns. Just get in there and do it. And you're just gonna let him get away, are you? Well, maybe not. How fast are you traveling? You're going 16 with no hyperdrive, and you are going 51. Sprint away, my friend. Or cruise. I keep getting those two mixed up. Roger Bacon has increased colony happiness skill level too. Roger, you the man. And you must be... Where are you going? Alright. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, <laughs> I thought that was ours. It's not. That was rolled over this way. <laughs> Thought he was attacking his own stuff, but nope. They're not fighting back. They're out of fuel. They are out of fuel, so they can't fight back. Sitting ducks. Excellent. That's one one escort we have in here taking on all this. Oh, here comes the diutes. Yep. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of ships that are fuel coming in and impulsing their way around, and it's making them pretty vulnerable. A money gift. All right, didn't ask for it, but thanks. And we got 20000 in the bank. Uh, I'd like to keep that for building stuff. And am I missing a... Well, maybe not. I was thinking I was missing a construction ship, but I don't think so. <clears throat> uh, is everybody still automated in the explorators? No, they're not. So we'll just put the exploration back on that. Or the automation. All right. Another free trade. Uh, can't do it. Sorry. I have my rules. And here we go at the up corner again. Let's just make sure nobody's actually going there. Yeah, I think it's probably... Yeah, he's still building that. That'll probably clear once he's finished building. And probably the same thing here. Yeah, so it looks like it's just restricted to, to uh, construction ships for this. So while they're building, they just don't have a uh, location. And it's coming up as zero, 0 in the field. And Ian Jackson, once again. Enhanced shields, really. Nice. Excellent. Uh, just wondering who was spying on the Banacerets. And you succeeded it as well. Advanced maneuvering. 
or is that a while ago? Nope, that was just recently. So advanced maneuvering as well. Uh, this one, got it all, excellent. So maybe if somebody has enhanced engines, we'll concentrate on that next. Okay, Ian, let's see if you can grab some. Enhance hyperdrives. You don't have engines, but it might get you to finish up target tracking because we're almost finished that. So we'll sign that and we'll get a Zan. Maybe to go to the Diutes. I think they might have uh, enhanced engines. And they don't. Okay, how about the Kiadians? And nobody has enhanced engines yet. Component prefabrication. Marshy Swamp. I think I was going to try that earlier. Long range scanners. Let's get those. Eh. Mm. Hate to take that chance. Let's see if these guys got that. No, but you could probably finish up with this improved assault tactics. We've almost got all of that. Continental colonization. Ooh, light interest. Maybe go for that. 89. There we go. Yeah, the Canadians must have. I don't think they have a racial trait for spies, but they got something going on here. They must just have a really good counterintelligence guy. All right, carry on. They're still trying to get that done, and you are now officially working on this. So we should be getting a research bonus. Ongoing bonus while repairing advanced ships in the uh, weapons testing range. Ongoing bonus. Okay, so we got two ongoing bonuses right now because we're repairing ships. So we get a bit of research when we repair ships too. Sucks I got this entire assault fleet over here for one Kelter. <laughs> and who are you? Where are you going? You're an escort. Going down there. Oh, okay, of course you are. All right, well, they're kind of cleaning up a few things in here, so I guess we'll let him go. AI appears to think that's a... Uh, priority so I guess we'll let him go with that and okay here we go let's get rid of that and what are you no mission you're a destroyer salt fleet one just sitting there help kill that all right, so that should be, and if we zoom out a bit, all the creatures in this system, yeah. You can see red X's on here if there's any other creatures. So I think we've successfully cleaned that out. And the Kingdom is under attack by a pirate cruiser. There's that cruiser they found. Oh, man. I wonder if we can capture it. Yeah, there were, let's see. Grab our fleet. Capture. What kind of firepower does this thing have? 144, not great. Only 500 shields. We might actually do this, and it's pretty slow. Go for repair, guys. Just get away from that thing. Uh oh. Yeah, your reactors are down. So you're not going anywhere. I doubt I'm going to have anything in the area to repair you. And there it is. 
Excellent. So the ship we uh, that was robbed from us through Discovery, we ended up capturing anyways. Certainly not the quickest ship. Certainly not most potent either. But you know what? I think we'll keep it. It's got rail guns on it. So here's what I'm going to do with this particular ship. I am going to create a new fleet. And that is going to be... On sixth fleet. Okay, I'm going to come in and rename the sixth fleet. And we need to start getting a home world defense up and running. I'm kind of worried that my uh, big fleet is out right now and there's nothing around home world other than our uh, spaceport. So there's the sixth fleet is now the home world defense. And we'll just get you uh, postured properly at home world. So, set home base, all right, and we will defend. I guess we'll just do home base. All right, so that'll come over and start hovering on home world uh, when it gets around to it. All right, are you still trying to refuel in here? It seems to be taking a while. Of course, they're impulsing in here, of course. Um, I don't know why you're all down here, but... Oh, you're trying to come to the other... So it must have ran out of fuel at this other one. Now it's coming down here. Or is that even a fuel station up here? It is, but... Hmm. I get the feeling that station ran out of fuel, so they've redirected down here for it. Okay, we're repairing those frigates that that uh, cruiser dis uh, damaged. And do I have any construction ships ready to go here? I got this guy up here. You finished uh, that fuel station up here, I hope. Yep. All right, so maybe before you do anything else, I'll get you to come down and repair this, and then we'll get you off doing some mining. I don't know if that's worth doing. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> oh well. Get the feeling some of these will be done soon anyways. We'll be able to get some more. That's kind of what I'm saving the money for, just to get some resources flowing. Because if we come in here, and I noticed this when I first fired up today, that we are running short on a couple of things, although it's not looking overly bad. And yeah, silicon was actually way down. We've actually managed to get a bit. It was like single digits. So uh, I do have that queued up for construction to get some more of that. Uh, yeah, chromium 5. Yeah, 6K on carbon fiber, 7K on polymer. So we're super low on uh, resources right now too. So building a whack of military right now probably isn't the best option as far as economy goes. And we have a new empire. The Kellef Enclave. Hey, the Reptilian, too. They naturally like us. Okay, we might have us a trading partner. Finally. That's good news. Okay, well, we'll look at those a bit later. Excellent. Okay, I was wondering if we we're going to get any Reptilians near us. That's my rule. I'm only uh, going to trade with... Uh, do free trade in that with uh, with other reptilian species. Yeah, I know I've made so, so, uh, stuff super hard on myself here. Yeah, we'll have to get on that planet destroyer soon too. It takes a long time and we actually need resources. So a construction ship actually has to pick up resources in order to get that going. The other repairs don't require resources, just the planet destroyers. And that is... I want the battleship. 18 damaged. And that'll give us a nice big battleship to deal with. And this is done. Where are you where are you going? I'm not sure why you're oh it's the exploration ship that's going there. Okay. You guys go repair. 
I'm assuming it will go over here to do that. And I have absolutely no idea what my time is at because I messed up my timing again. So I'm just going to pull up. Yeah, we're at 25 minutes. Okay, good enough. That's all I needed to know. So my clock is about 10 minutes off. All right. And trade sanctions right off the bat. Pretty much uh, first encounter stuff. Ah, here we go. We have encountered an abandoned cruiser. Investigate. Excellent. Uh, the Loaming Ravager at the location. Okay. And it's set off a beacon in H7. Okay, so what event location? Oh, that's this one over here. Okay, so let's grab our construction ship. And you know what? Since you're right here, we might as well do that too. Okay, so let's grab this uh, cruiser and see what you have. Got phaser lances, terminator auto cannons, velocity shards, 224 firepower, 650 shields, and no boarding to speak of. You got fighters, you got four fighters. Bit better hyperdrives, excellent. You know where you can go. Go to Assault Fleet 1. Actually, no. I'm going to change that. Uh, just for now, uh, leave that. So leave Fleet, join Fleet, Homeworld Defense. There, we'll just get a couple of ships into Homeworld Defense before we uh, start bulking out that Assault Fleet. All right, so there's that. Uh, let's see now. Let's have a quick look at our colonies again. Ooh, yay, 2%. <laughs> I can't believe I stressed all game for a single percentage point. But there we go. That's a little quicker. 6%, excellent. 3%. And is our governors, I think our governors and, uh, yeah, Roger is helping with that by 42%. Excellent. And our leader, Bob Starr. Uh, what are you doing for us? P plus 10%. So that's working pretty good. Man, our counter espionage sucks right now. We're probably getting like completely raped for uh, technologies. We do have an ambassador. Okay, I'm going to find out where the Kel of Homeworld is. And then as soon as we figure that out, we'll send that ambassador there. And I should almost rename that. Let's get my list O names. And who do we got next? Um, oh, I use that one. Just got to make a note of which ones I've used. Oh, here we go. And we'll rename you to Christopher M. Uh, he completely screwed up the spelling on that. I know I did. C H R O P H E. Okay, there we go. Christoph M. That's our new uh, ambassador. I'm actually running out of names here. So start making some comments, guys. That's what I'm doing for renaming. Anybody who's left comments during this series, then I'm using their name to rename stuff. So if you're looking to get your name in the game, just leave a comment. And please don't make it just please rename something after me. You know, make a make a constructive comment, ask a question, do whatever you need to do. Uh, construction ship is done. Excellent. We now have carbon fiber and polymer. Um, let's see. Should I get one of these over here? Or should I? I think maybe we better maybe get something else constructing. We do have one chromium now, one carbon fiber. Uh, how are we doing for steel sources? We got five, so not bad, I guess. Keslons is coming up. We've got five sources of that. Silicon still zero. I do have one ship going for that, I believe. We better double check on it. Uh, silicone. Huh. It didn't happen? I could have swore I did. Well, I'm going to send another ship there. The Jordan Linehard will go build a mining station there. I could have swore I had one of those going. Maybe it was in the episode I uh, messed up and didn't record. Quite possible.
Okay, we're going to take a minute for the assault fleet to come out and just make sure our exploration is still going, looks like. And which one was the... I think they've all been upgraded at this point. I did send that in for retrofit, so they're all science vessels now. And just check on our habitability here. Yeah, just the uh, the one potential colony. I should, I wonder if I shouldn't uh, try an asteroid colony. Might as well. I'll just build a colony ship. I'll maybe try to get into that next episode. Just to show off that little function. Yeah, I keep trying to show off that passenger ship function and uh, the private sector just ends up picking up all the work anyway, so. It's an option. You don't have to use it or anything. Uh, the private sector will do it on their own, so. And again, keep in mind, you can disable any of these bacon mod options. If you're not liking the gravity wells or whatever, you can turn them off. Oh, there's a slug in here. You tried to take out the slug, you idiot. I just want you to refuel and go back up to uh, that planet up there. Ugh, wasting time. Okay, it looks like those guys are now refueled. Just got one more coming in. And you have no hyperdrive either. You're going to attack another space slug, are you? Well, you know what? Knock yourself out. Go for it. Oh, how much damage did you do? 26% damage. Yep. Suicidal ships. And you're probably going to, yeah, I was just going to say, you're probably going to lose your weapon here shortly. So I guess I don't have to deal with that anymore. It's just that defense fleet's going to be shorter ship now. Yep. Okay. Well, we'll have to replenish that. And what's going on here now? Looks like the Cadians are down here for it too. Oh no, that's the Shakturi Enclave. Ooh, we have met the Shakturi, have we? Did I miss that message? I did. Okay, here's the Shakturi. Look at this. Master Engineers, ship maintenance minus 50%. Oh my God, we are going to have a problem against them. They're going to be able to have huge military. Extremely aggressive, extremely reckless, extremely unfriendly, very intelligent, and extremely unreliable. Okay, now let's go have a look at the rankings now that they're in the game. Oop, wrong screen. Okay, so there they are. Now the only problem with the Shakteri and the Mechanoids being in the game like this, they have no racial victory conditions. So they have to actually get all three of these maxed out in order to, uh, to bring themselves to victory. So... It's going to be a little harder for them to achieve, but certainly not undoable, that's for sure. Undoable, there's a word. There's a word. Uh, let's see what they're at as far as score. 74,000 compared to our 42. Yeah, we are falling behind, and it's mainly because of military and finances. Ooh, Shakturi have good population. We're actually sucking in population. We're last place. Second place in territory. The Cadians picked up another colony. Our economy sucks, of course. And it's a good thing we're looking through this because it looks like we're at the end of the episode anyways. So I'm probably going to hang it up for today. That's four episodes I've recorded. So I think I'll uh, shut it down before I start getting brain dead even more than I already am. But at least our military is top notch. Let's see. Shakturi are kind of close. And we don't know anything about their home world yet. Yes, uh, did we get a reading on how much firepower? 18, so they're not overly strong. They probably just have lots of ships. That's probably where most of their strength is coming from. 
Interesting. So they're, I, I'm guessing they're in the core somewhere then. That's not what I intended when I set up this game. Either that or I wonder how their fuel levels are. I can't see them having huge fuel levels. It's only a ship size of 158. Hmm. I get the feeling the Shakhtari are in here somewhere. That's not what I intend when I set up the game. I wanted them out here. But, okay, that's fine. I wanted them out here so that they would have a chance to grow and then uh, they would be more formidable when we met them. But I'm sure they'll be a hassle no matter what now. All right, so that's interesting. Okay, so I'll hang it up here. And like I said, I think that will be the last episode. Where is this fleet? Oh, I took that home for a reason. Not sure what it was, but I'll just hit the refuel on you. And uh, I don't know, maybe we'll get it to come out and protect this operation here. Yeah, finances are still sucking pretty hard. Yeah, we're actually spending f uh, money on fuel from somebody. I think I saw an explorer refueling at one of the other planets, one of the other uh, alien planets. So it's probably where that little expense is coming in. Private sector is doing pretty good revenue wise. All right. Well, thanks for joining me and we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.